Welcome to Jitex Live for 2018, the Dubai World Trade Center. Uh, some great keynote addresses and panel sessions taking place here all week long. With me now, I have Steve Locke from The uh, Economist. Hello. Steve, uh, good to have you at Jitex Live. Thank you. Um, great panel session that you took part in. Uh, the, the question was, is AI the future of marketing? What, what do you reckon to that? Um, I think my answer is probably going to be, you know, the fact that it is already the future of marketing. It is now. Um, I spoke on the panel, um, and I'll speak a little bit in uh, more detail later, the fact that um, there are a lot of things to choose from now in terms of what different brands and different companies, whether you're in B2C, B2B, you know, what, what have you, to choose the things that uh, make sense for the needs of your particular business or your particular brand. AI is here to help us understand human beings. Um, ironically, we need AI to help human, be human beings make more human decisions. <laughs> um, because the, the, as, as I think human beings, we are both logical creatures and we're emotional creatures. And there is a particular um, uh, area to be unlocked for AI to help us to understand the emotional states. Um, to be able to, to drive that kind of context of uh, pulling together the art and science of what it is to be a person and what marketing is about. As you say, AI is already here for marketing, but it is developing and growing and more and more companies are taking it on board. Uh, some companies might have a reluctance if they are discovered by consumers that they're using AI after all the data breaches and other things sure. we've had recently. What would your advice be to such a company? Um, I think that... Um, we may be able to, uh, maybe we, we fault the, the technology itself, but um, there is absolutely bad technology and there's good technology. We've been living inside of a world where we've had unregulated access to consumer data. That is changing. Um, that's changing very quickly. What that really uh, makes, uh, 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 creates in terms of opportunities is that AI can actually help us to understand when to talk to someone, but also when not to talk to someone and what not to say. And we've all been subject to the pair of shoes that have been following us around on the internet for the last 12 years. Um, that's not good enough anymore, right? That's creepy stuff, right? And we're all trying to get away from that kind of creepiness. There is a way to do this right. There are folks who are doing it right. Uh, the challenge right now is in, is in actually identifying those te technologies that are out there, the platforms that are out there. It is not easy. And I don't want to oversimplify you know, that fact. Um, but the leaders today I think that we need to look at are the ones who are, who are advising on the things that are going to be effective for customers and help us to avoid more incidents that are around data breaches that um, really sort of erode at trust and destroy trust over time. Interesting stuff. Thank you, Stu. Absolutely. Okay, for the latest on everything to do with marketing, uh, AI, and uh, machine learning as well, you'll find uh, full details, of course, at jitex.com.